Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Little Fingers. I hope you all have a good week so far. So today I'm going to get rid of this laptop, that HP Notebook 17 by 010 NR. Um, instead of deleting all my documents in here, I've decided to buy a new storage drive. So I will replace it with this new PNY SSD and install a fresh copy of its operating system. Yeah, if that interests you, then hop along. Okay, you're still here watching this video. Make sure to grab your double O Phillips screwdriver, magnetic tray to secure your screws. In this case, we have to remove 14 screws, two of which are right behind the battery compartment. I just want to emphasize that because I screwed it up when I tried to um, return the back cover and I thought there were two extra screws so I just I don't want you to do the same mistake and then you need a couple of more peak tools and if you want to remove your uh, DVD room you can use a SIM card ejector and if you do so you can only remove the DVD room uh, right after you remove the screws. Now that we've removed the back cover of the unit, the next step is to disconnect the ribbon of the storage drive. In removing this one, you have to remember that it is locked. So you have to unlock it by pulling the lever gently and easily disconnect the ribbon. Actually, there is no force needed. And after that, you remove the old drive by pulling it gently from the connection. Now that the old SSD is removed, you can replace it with our new one. Uh, make sure that you put the new SSD in the right orientation. If it's not, then you will know since it will not fit. Once you install the new storage, just do the previous process in reverse order. Also, I just want to share a lesson I've learned from this one. Uh, I've learned that it is important to put the screws back before you install the battery. In that way, you won't be wondering how come you've got extra screws after putting all back together to its original setup. You know what I mean? Thank you. 
So we finally finished installing the new storage drive, which in this case we've got 240 gigabytes SSD. So it's time to install the back cover of our unit and make sure all screws are there and then we have to turn on the unit make sure that it's still working with this one we got it turned on and then we have to install a fresh copy of the operating system so I just insert my USB bootable installer to this unit and then let the computer boot from it and the installation starts and all you have to do is follow the on-screen instruction and you will be fine also the length of the installation will vary from system to system so mine will, might be faster or slower than your installation so you don't have to worry about it so that's all for today's video thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a good week